just about to record a Father's Day video, kind of a top 10 of the best comic book fathers. Spoilers, it was Batman. Batman was number one. So we're going to talk about something that just broke, and I want to take a look at it with you guys. I am really excited to see this. I think we have a little bit of a multiversal bait and switch on our hands, and it looks fantastic. We're going to talk about Sasha Callie and her Supergirl outfit. Now, I have seen some of the reactions to this already, so I am not going to be surprised by what you say. So feel free to comment below. Let me know your honest opinion. No sugarcoating it, but I'm going to give you mine. Wow. Let's go right into it. But before I do that, I want to say happy Father's Day to any of the dads out there. And also thank you guys for taking the time today to watch this video, to leave me a comment and a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, of course. And let's get into it. Oh, my God. We are getting our first look at Sasha Kelly in her Supergirl outfit. Now, I will say I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, of course, she looks silly. There's a lot of CGI that goes into this. And there's a lot of things, you know, with her belly here. Of course, that's going to stick out because she's on kind of the uh, uh, lifters here, right? Now, when she was first cast, I was a little apprehensive about it. I didn't know much about the girl. We saw that reaction, that raw emotional reaction to her. And then I was like, yeah, I think this emotion, this level of, oh, my God, I'm this excited, kind of made me excited, right? So we seen her cut her hair. There was a lot of people kind of guessing who she was going to be. Now, before we look at any more pictures, I'm going to tell you just exactly what I think. If you read the Injustice comics, when we were in year three, there was a dream sequence. And there was Lo or Laura lane kent and if you know the story of injustice it was the child that was lost that lois was pregnant with when clark when superman uh, you know accidentally but it definitely did kill her so i do think we're going to get a multiverse and this planet is going to be the injustice planet or something similar but where Soup where Lois Lane was not killed. The baby was able to go ahead and be born and be raised. And even in that, we saw stuff like her being an ambassador for the Justice League, right? So if that were to go ahead and happen, she would be the ambassador for the Justice League. And that is why she would be, a, you know, such an important figure in this scene. And that's probably why, you know, we're seeing The Flash and Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne in this. So let's take a look. That's just my theory. I think it, it makes a lot of sense. But then again, you're not going to have things one for one. They don't always transfer over from page to the, you know, big screen. So things are going to be changed. Things are going to kind of move around and things are going to be different. So I'm not sure. You know, I, we're going to switch over to this picture right here because I want to show you something that I found very cool and very unique. Um, The fact that <laughs> her outfit goes all the way like, there's no shoes. It goes right into it. I absolutely love it. It also sort of reminds me, if you read Young Justice long ago, before Connor Kent even got his jeans and his t-shirt, he had an outfit that was relatively similar. And it kind of reminds me of that also, except for that was a lot more gaudy. And then Jeff Johns ended up giving him his t-shirt and jeans, so it did look better. But it also, in a sense, reminds me of that. I really like the way this looks. Now, Clearly, they're giving her a six-pack that is maybe, maybe put on, or that has to do with the tracking. I'm not sure. So, let's take a look here. There's um, a couple of them. This girl that they got to pick um, is, is so pretty. I absolutely love how she looks. Like, I don't know. She She's a beautiful woman. I really like it. Um, she's like a 12, right? I mean, of course, these aren't great pictures. She's in the middle of, of doing this, but still, even so, she looks stunning. Um, I think we have a few more, too, uh, with her smiling ear, and I know they're comparing her to Supergirl on television. Please don't do that. 
please don't do that. Supergirl on television. I'll give it to you for the first season or two, maybe. It was pretty good. I liked when they brought Monel in and some of the other things. It was fun. And then it got really really bad and comparing them to is going to give you know that that bad figure right away i love something else that this shows right here if you notice um in her hand her suit actually goes around her thumb so there's no way it would you know come off and i think that's great because this is like ideal suit for a woman that you know can move and not have to worry about her you know <laughs> skirt riding up even though that's not a problem either i i I think it would have been very well. See, I'm not the only one that sees the similarities. Like, it's very, very clear what you're doing here. Whether or not you call her Kara or not is another thing. Now, um, I, let's see. We'll let's look at it from the back here. Um, she, yeah, I love it. I love the bottoms of the, like, I, those are usually where the type of shoes I wear for runners, the ones that kind of, um, a stay real put, but these are actually connected. And, and I really like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I love seeing stuff like this. I know, I know some people won't be impressed. I know that's going to happen, but holy crap. This is so cool. There's also pictures um, from, obviously, this is from Andy uh, Muschietti's The Flash, right? So we're seeing Barry Allen here. I'm not a huge Ezra Miller fan, but I do felt, felt, you know, initially like he played the part pretty well. He was, you know, kind of comedic relief. I felt like he was a better Wally than he was Barry, in my opinion, because I, I always look at those two kind of, um, as Wally being the more goofy one, right? And that's kind of the part that, that we saw him play. And I believe we have a picture over here of, of Bruce Wayne. Now I do remember they showed two Bruce Waynes before they showed, um, two different seats. So I know that they were going to kind of at one point speaking on letting Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck come in. And I'm assuming that's still the, still what's going on. I'm assuming they're going to, in a way, this is going to be flashpoint, right? So I'm assuming they're going to go in that have that Bruce Wayne. They're going to erase that timeline to kind of get rid. I don't know if they're 100% getting rid of the Snyderverse, but that could be why he's there of, of Bruce Wayne, but I guess not of Michael Keaton, but. Um, that would be ideally what they're probably going to do. And I know that's going to be extremely controversial. That's awesome. Like, he looks so great. So I think it's going to be almost like a time traveling buddy thing between Michael Keaton and, and of course, Ezra Miller. But, um, wow, he's getting old. <laughs> Still really handsome, though, for his age. I wish I could find one where she had the cape on. I do think there's some out there. I posted on my story yesterday of her one kind of in action, right? Um, I love it. Um, her, her moving, right? I, I think it looks so good. I really think this is Lara. I really think that we're looking at a Kent, but not Kara. We're not seeing Kara Zorel as you know her. Here's what I posted yesterday on my TikTok. And, and she looks awesome. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think that's about it. We're seeing also here a um a throw to Wonder Woman. And it's funny because not that long ago, there was people going, Oh my god, Gal Gadot is fired. Except for, you know, when Wonder Woman 84 came out, the news broke within days that there's already a wonder woman three being penned so i don't think she's fired now this says central city so are all of these shots on this earth or are they in a different central city see we even have one here with the cape a lot of times right so it's very very blurry wow um but most of the time it's done you know with with cgi i love it I love it. I know it looks so freaking good and she's so pretty. I'm excited. I want a good superhero flick. It's besides animation and, um, I should have my review up for the long Halloween part one tomorrow. But besides animation, having a good superhero flick is, um, 
it's been rare, right? Unless I'm talking about for DC fans, of course, there are always um, Marvel flicks, but for DC, it's been very rare. So I'm hoping this is it. And I'm hoping we're going to get a good Supergirl, a good Flash, and, and who knows what else in between, but looks good to me. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>